Rightio, so here's the progress bar we're going to be animating. It consists of a rectangle with rounded corners and a drop shadow. We have some text that uses the font SFUI text and a close icon that consists of two lines. Lastly, there's another rectangle for the progress bar itself and you can download the XD file from the video description. So first we're going to duplicate the bar with Command or Control D and we're going to rename this layer Progress. Next, duplicate the layer again and rename this layer Mask. Next, pick a wild and wacky colour for the mask. Don't worry, this won't be visible. Now you can select the progress layer and choose the actual colour that you would like to represent progress on your progress bar. Now we can hide the mask momentarily just to check the colour is correct and then select the mask and progress layer, right click and select mask with shape. You can then give the mask group a suitable name and then click the icon to go inside the group. You can then change the width of the mask to adjust the amount of progress, but we'll go back a step first. Select the artboard and duplicate with Command or Control D. Give this a suitable name, I recommend two. And then zoom into that first artboard and select the mask layer and reduce the progress all the way to zero. Next, we can hop into prototype mode. Select the first artboard and click on the blue tab and drag this to the second artboard. We're then going to trigger this animation with a time delay of one second. From the type dropdown, select auto animate. Select your preferred easing style and set the duration of your animation. And lastly, click the play icon to see your progress bar in action. You can also add a few more artboards and animations to take your progress bar prototypes to the next level. And that wraps up the video. So if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more, click subscribe, click the bell, take care, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>